Do you know guys WordPress is really changing and the future is block themes which come with this full site editing feature and you can see now there are 282 block themes available in WordPress and you can create your amazing website without compromising the speed of website. WordPress block themes are really amazing. Let me show you what is the major difference between a block theme and a classic theme. So if you install a WordPress block theme on your website and if you hover on appearance you can see only two options themes and editor. So if you go to themes and then you click on add new and you can see all the themes available on WordPress and there are 5541 themes as I'm recording this video. And if you click here block themes you can find all the block themes available in the WordPress. And when you install a classic theme which are old themes on WordPress you will go to appearance and you will find all these options. Themes the same place where you can go to add themes. Then you have customize widgets menu and theme file editor. If you go to customize then you can find all these options to edit your theme. You can have header builder, global options, breadcrumb, blog, pages. Depending on your theme what you are using, if you are using classic theme or old theme you can have different options here. And if you go to widgets, you can add widgets on different places of the website. And if you go to menus, you can add menus on your website. And the last thing, if you go to theme file editor, in classic theme you can edit the code of website. You can see different templates for your website. It uses function, header.php, index.php, single.php. There's so many templates here and they comes with coding. So to edit a template on your website, you need to edit the code. But in block themes, you do not have this option of customize, theme editor, adding menus or widgets. There's just one place which is editor. And when you click on editor, you can customize all the templates for your website pages without any knowledge of coding. Everything's drag and drop. You can use the block editor from WordPress, which is default editor came with WordPress. It is also called Gutenberg editor, but now it's block based. So in block based theme, every section of your website is a block. So no matter what block you're working on, you can move them from any position what you want and you can edit them like you edit any part of the page, which is really interesting. And you will see these two options in block theme, templates and templates parts. For example, if I show you templates, you can see I have template for all the pages on my website. And if I click on home and then I click on this pencil icon, you can see I can edit my home page template completely. And then you can see there is a header here also. So if you want to edit header, you can just click on header here. And then you select the header and if you click on edit, you can edit the header of the website. And so templates where you have template for all the pages. And then you have section template parts. And then you can see all the template parts of website like general parts of website. For example, footer, header. In this theme, it's post meta and comments because I'm using the default 2023 block theme came with WordPress. You can edit the template parts. So they work very similar template parts and templates. For example, let's add this header. So I click on header and then if I click on this pencil icon, you can see this is my header. With classic themes or old themes, it was really complicated to add the headers. Sometimes you have page builder like Elementor, but you need to buy the pro version to add the header. And also you could use the plugin which are free Elementor header and footer editor, but they are like not the best solution. But with block themes, you can edit every part of the website. For example, if I want to add a logo here, I just click on this pencil icon and then I can search here logo and then I can add the site logo here. Now you can see the logo is in middle. I can just click on this logo and then I move this left. This site title, what I can do, I can select this and click on these three dots and then I can remove the site title. So it is really nice and easy with block themes to edit your website design. And there's a navigation item here. You can see, let's do one thing. Let's remove this navigation item. So I click on this three dot, remove page list. So let me show you how you can add navigation item on your header. So click on this plus icon and then you can search here navigation and then you can just select this navigation and you can drop it here. So navigation is added here and now this navigation is added under the logo which is taking the complete row. The best way to work with these things is it is not as easy as like other page builder like Elementor or W Bakery Builder but still it provides more flexibility to edit your website and this feature is called full site editing because you can edit any part of your website without knowledge of any coding. What else you can do? So what is the best way to edit your website? For example, if you use just block editor like this way, it's going to be a little bit complicated, but there's a nice tip. You can click on these three lines here, which will open the list view. And from here, you can really edit your website very nicely. Now you can see there's a row here and there's logo, but our navigation is just added to the down of this row. So what you can do, you can select this row and now you have this navigation item. You can drag this navigation and you can drop it under the site logo. So you can see it just simply moved here. 
and to add a new menu item you just click on this plus icon you can choose any post on page from your website or a category or what else you can do you can add a link and then you can press enter to add the link okay so the link is added here if i want to change the text i'll just say google and we will still have this link which will go to google.com so this is how it works there's one more tip like if you were looking for the best theme to work with the website what you can do you can search this theme spectra which is a theme created by astro theme creators so this theme called spectra one just install this theme and then click on activate and then it will ask you to activate spectra plugin so spectra plugin is a skin on the top of the gutenberg block editor which will make your work really easy so once you click activate spectra plugin it will activate the skin or it's like editor and it is not completely editor but it is more helping the block editor to work it more easy way okay now we have this spectra theme installed with spectra editor so if i hold appearance and then i go to editor you can see now we have same option templates and template path on the right side you can see because with this theme the whole design is created for you so it's a really nice starting point to create a website you have this very professional ready-made design imported to your website and if i want to edit any template i'll do the same thing i'll go to templates and then for example if i want to add the home page i click on home page click on right side and then you come in editing mode with spectra editor it makes simple to edit the templates so with spectra editor which works on any theme which is block based and you can really make things very simple for you to work with block editor for example if i click on this plus icon then you can see we have much better blocks here which are added by spectra theme and spectra editor and they're much better than Gutenberg blocks because Gutenberg blocks are real nice and if you scroll the page you can see their default blocks came with the Gutenberg builder or block editor and then you have all these items you can use but with spectra you have this amazing containers which makes your work really easy to create your website For example if you want to add container i drag it and i can drop it here and i have much better flexibility to create the containers for example if you want to create a container with, with two columns i select this one and you can see as i hover on this one it highlights the section we are working on so it's on column it's second column but the row is also highlighted one more thing if we select this column on the left side you can always select the print container no matter where you are for example if i select this menu item and here you can see this is the print one this is this whole navigation which consists of all these four menu links so if i select this one this select the outer container or parent container and if i am on this outer container if i click on this one you can see select row it will select the whole row and it is really easy to move things here if i want to move to left side i just click here and all this move to left side okay because they are inside a container so this makes things really simple so guys if you want to have fast website you are in process of creating a website i highly recommend you to choose a block theme and spectra one theme is really nice point to start with there's so many block themes i will just choose the right thing for you and you will have a much much faster website it will not add a lot of bloat on your website and you will get really nice google page speed scores on your website let me show you the google page speed scores i'm getting for my website so i'll just copy the url of my website and now i test my website with page speed inside and you can see i'm scoring 93 for mobile devices and for desktop i'm scoring 98 and this is all without using any caching or optimization plugin so for me i think these block themes they're the future of wordpress slowly by slowly all the major themes they're moving to block based themes they're changing their theme architecture to be a block theme some of the theme i heard like popular theme like cadence and ocean wp they said they're not going to move to block theme but yes honestly wordpress is pushing it a lot and that's the future so make sure when you're creating a new website choose a block theme and guys if you like this tutorial you get some value out of it don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know how to optimize your WordPress website and get 100 out of 100 for Google Play Speed Score, then check out this video on the screen. And if you want to know more about full site editing, check out this other video on the screen.